The Osbournes are exposed. The Osbournes show starts. We all know Jack, we all know Kelly. Turns out they have another kid, this girl Amy. I didn't know this. Who knew? And I'm watching the whole season not knowing this. Then I find out they have another kid. She just doesn't want to be on the show. Why? I have no idea. Doesn't want the press, doesn't want the fame. Maybe she can't talk. It, it also sort of secured the success of the Osborne entity because they have Ozfest, that tour that they do every year, and all of a sudden Oz, Ozzy Osbourne was relevant again. And then you've got Kelly, who's sort of like esoteric and strange, <laughs> and a little overweight and cute. And then there was Jack in the show, who was just like just kind a of mess, hard to look at because he was so gross. Who's gonna take Kelly Osbourne seriously as a singer? We all know she's only got a record deal because of who her dad is. You wanted to give Kelly the benefit of the doubt because her dad was a famous musician, but. She came out with this album and it just was like sort of a debacle. I don't think anybody listened to it. And we all knew the one song. We all knew Papa Don't Preach. Why are you remaking Madonna song? Don't do that. Nicole Richie is exposed. It wouldn't surprise me at all if she felt a little burned or taken advantage of by the paparazzi because she really did have this not so great image. Everyone knew about the drug problems, the tantrums. A highlight in any celebrity's career, of course, is when they're arrested and they get a fabulous mug shot. <laughs> Such is the case for Nicole Richie. Steve O came out saying she asked she him to walk press? around with her and act like they were dating hmm. just to create some controversy, buzz, whatever. Hmm. And it worked, because then they were in every magazine. Oh my God, is Nicole Richie dating Steve-O? And it was, everyone was like, that's crazy. How could they ever be together? And, the whole, and of course, the whole thing was fake.